Welcome to part 5 of my DIY reflow toaster oven project. I need to make one of my LED boards for my Neo Geo stuff. Here we can see the LEDs placed on the board with the resistors. I've changed my solder paste. I'm now using some chip quick stuff after my research led me to see that the mechanic was not the best to use. So I'm going to try this chip quick and it should still work on the same reflow pattern that we had before. So we're going to pop our board inside, roughly in the middle, where our probe is. Okay, I think I've got the camera set up correctly. We can see quite close up what's going on. We have our exact same repo profiles before. So let's, let's do this. Well, we're seeing some reflowing. I am working on some updates, uh, some fan controlling and servo and looking at ways to open the door and get the fan to spin on its own and I've already redesigned the PCB so that it has a header for a fan and for a servo. Okay, let's pop that open. So the solder's definitely flowed, but they look quite ballish. So that was our first actual real use of my toaster oven, and it looks like it's done a good job. The chip quick solder paste that I've used looks a lot cleaner and shinier than the mechanic that I was using before that seemed to leave little bits of, of solder on the PCB. I know that I used a stencil this time, which probably made things a lot cleaner, but that looks really good. Uh, these are now going to be tested, and I think I've got two of the LEDs wrong way around, so I need to fix those. And then these will be tested and assembled. So I'm really pleased that I can safely say I now have a working reflow oven. Uh, my profile seemed to work okay and uh, yeah I just need to sort out the cooling so that the cooling works automatically. So I guess that would be my next post. Thank you for watching.